So we're going to start um, with just uh, the budget end, and I'll start with actually um, paper, rolls of construction paper or creative paper, or um, I have about, oh my gosh, seven or eight of these murals that I created on this construction paper for um, back when I used to work with college students. And they're a good five years old, and I think if you're kind of taking your first plunge into creating large, this is a great budget conscious way to start creating and kind of start experimenting. So you don't have to spend a lot of money if you're not comfortable yet. But again, I, I do this for warm ups. I do this if I'm just on a budget and I want to experiment. It's a great way. Construction paper, that craft paper that you cover tables with, even wrapping paper, you can paint over and then start fresh. So you guys know my concept of painting over everything. Just about any kind of heavy duty paper, um, even paper for painting, for covering the floor that you can get at Home Depot, would be a great surface to start with. And then, if you want to cut it up and use it in your journals or make something big or frame it, you can do that. So don't feel like you need to do canvas or something expensive. You can start really budget conscious. And again, this is huge. This is about oh gosh, eight feet long, but to me that's big. Um, for someone else, you know, just a corner of this might be big for you. But again, that's kind of your first budget option. The second one is just simple fabric. So this is just a piece of muslin, white muslin, and it's about a dollar a yard. To me, I use this for everything. I dye it, I paint it. Um, again, if I'm looking to kind of do some warm-ups or some messy experiments on a large scale, I will use something like this that will get sewn later. So if you're a quilter, a fabric artist, and you want to experiment with this working large in your medium, fabric is a great thing to use. And you don't need to worry right now about using um, special paint for fabric. I am simply using acrylic paint because I'm creating art out of most of this stuff or things that won't get washed. So a dollar a yard, um, this isn't a huge piece, but it's big enough to kind of get the feel for what it's going to be like to create big. So again, muslin, um, white, and if there's sail fabric, you can paint right over it. I do it all the time. It's the best tip that I have. Um, and then getting into more expensive options or more difficult options are actually using um, pieces of scrap wood. And I actually, I'm very blessed to have a husband who is an engineer who works in a wonderful laboratory with all sorts of tools and supplies. So he makes me um, all kinds of stuff. So if anytime there's scrap wood around, I, um, I want it and I keep it in the garage. I think wood is the next best thing if you're creating art to paint on. It's such a great surface, um, especially if you're looking to show or hang things on your wall. You've already got something going on that can hang without being framed. So if you're somebody who has property or house and you guys have done remodeling, um, I'd say go through your wood pile and look for some bigger chunks of wood. This is very large very heavy but again that's another option this is something that i work in when i am doing fine art or if i'm working on a gallery show wood is my favorite thing to work with um, and again at home depot pieces of plywood really aren't that expensive so you could go anywhere from two dollars to ten dollars and get a nice big piece of wood or you can raid their scrap bin which they normally let you do they'll cut it for you if you don't have the ability to cut stuff and it's kind of a good way to get started with a larger surface if you're looking at creating art that you're not going to cut up or sew with or do anything like that and then the most expensive option but still simple is stretching your own canvas and i don't have enough space around me but i've got um, just a piece that's um, all words that I have on my living room wall, and it's gigantic. It's, well, I'm 5'5", five five, so it's about 6 feet tall. And uh, my husband, again, made a frame for me, and if you go over to the blog section, I'll just step out an easy way to make a simple frame. The same way you'd stretch a small canvas is the same way you'd stretch a large one. And the canvas that I'm using is actually the lightest and the cheapest. Um, so it's nothing that special. We didn't even stretch it properly. I just used a staple gun and went down the sides as messy as I could because it was only hanging in our house. So all I cared about was getting it stretched once it was painted. So again, this is another option for working large. And this is if, you know, if you're interested in trying um, 
to work on a canvas this big, I think a lot of people really enjoy it. And you've got a piece of art you can hang when it's all done. So this is a great option. Art supply stores also sell large canvases, but they run about 50 to $200, depending on the size. Stretching it runs about $15. Um, depending on where you buy your canvas and how expensive the yardage is. And again, just pieces of wood. We didn't even buy stretcher bars. We just cut pieces of wood. So if you're handy or you have handy people in your family, easy, easy thing to do. You can look again at the blog section for directions. So these are all simple, simple surfaces kind of from every range. And the very last one is actually a wall. So this is free. So if you have a space that you are able to paint on, this is another great way. Or if you have a piece of furniture, um, that's another option for working large. If you have something in your home that's large with one surface, another option. So I will be demoing actually on my wall um, to show you guys kind of some of these simple techniques to get used to. I'm losing my voice. And then we'll kind of get going from there. So I hope that gives you guys kind of a spectrum of um, kind of understanding of what you can start with. And again, you don't need to go as large as I showed you, but these are actual surfaces that will work for going large. All right, so we're, now we're going to get started.